Well, welcome everybody to our online program on addiction and recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And we've been talking about myths of addiction. And a common one is this uh, persistent idea that there's uh, people who have addiction problems have an addictive personality. And we've talked uh, about this before. There's a book written on this. But it's amazing to me how persistent it is. Uh, I have a scientific article at home which claims that all addicts are impulsive. So they have an impulsive personality. Of course, uh, right next to that, I have an article from a scientist who claims that all addicts are, uh, have traits of obsessive compulsive personality disorder. And by the way, impulsiveness and obsessive compulsiveness are pretty much opposite ends of the spectrum. So one scientist is telling us one thing and the other scientist is telling us another thing. But this persistence is actually kind of interesting because one of the most famous disease models uh, developed by a guy by the name of uh, Kent Bayridge called incentive sensitization theory, it actually argues that Addiction is primarily a brain disease. And the evidence for that came from rats. But here's the kicker. The rats didn't get addicted at the same time. So they were, they were differentially addicted, as we say. And so to explain that, Bayridge proposed this idea that they have a genetic predisposition for a certain personality. In other words, he's taken the brain disease, but now he's trying to explain this wrinkle in the theory. And although he never really talked about it in depth, we can assume it's either impulsiveness or compulsiveness or something, something along. Like that. So that's kind of interesting. But what's particularly fascinating is that personality psychologists who actually do this stuff for a living, uh, in 50 years of research, I've never really been able to find anything like this mysterious personality, this addictive personality. And that's really kind of an interesting conclusion. If you do 50 years of research and you really can't find any sort of common factor, uh, then this whole idea of an addictive personality seems to go down the tubes pretty quick. And in fact, uh, most researchers now will talk about, uh, uh, I'm just thinking of Jeff Singer, who said in one of his books that it turns out that addicts are as various as the wide mix of society. In other words, this idea that we can pin a personality to an addiction is highly questionable. Are there people who are impulsive who are addicts? Of course there are. But there's many more people who are impulsive who are not addicts. Are people who have traits of obsessive compulsiveness addicts? Of course there are. But there are many more people who don't have those traits. So it's kind of an interesting thing. But again, the persistence is amazing. I've read uh, articles saying everybody with post-traumatic stress disorder is an addict. And yet it's, it doesn't seem to be borne out. And I'm not sure where this idea came from other than Maybe if you want to make sure everybody is somehow defective, you can invent something like a personality disorder. At any rate, uh, again, more things to think about. So that's it for this program, and we'll be back uh, next time with a new topic.